I dropped 60 kills using the best loadout for Warzone 3. So in today's video, I'm going to break down every single attachment that you guys need to be running on both of the guns to hopefully have you drop in your new PR. So jumping straight into the first attachment for the meta STG loadout, we do want to go ahead and start with the Acrux Heavy Barrel, which is going to increase our damage, range, accuracy, and recoil control. As you can see, we do get a 24% increase to both the effective and the minimum damage range, 13% to the bullet velocity, making this the fastest killing long range weapon in the game right now. And on top of that, we do get a 5% decrease to our recoil gun kick as well as 9% to both the horizontal and the vertical recoil, making this one of the easiest guns to use in the entire game. For the second attachment, we do want to throw in my favorite optic in Warzone 3 right now, which is going to be the Jack Glassless. This thing is super clean, very easy to use, and it gives the least visual recoil in all of Warzone 3. It's also super effective from short, medium, and long ranges, so it's very good on the smaller resurgence maps. Next up, we do want to throw in something that's going to increase our recoil control, so with that being said, we do want to use the DR79 combo stock, which is going to do exactly that. It gives us a 21% decrease to our recoil gun kick, as well as 11% to both the horizontal and the vertical recoil, trying to keep the recoil as low as we possibly can on this STG build. If you guys haven't already, do me a favor and smash that like and sub button. We do post the best Warzone 3 loadouts every single day. And right now, 96% of you guys who are watching this video haven't done that yet, so help your boy out. Smash that bigger subscribe button down below. Getting right back into the build, now we do want to throw on the biggest magazine that we can onto this gun, which is going to be the 50 round drum. Making this build absolutely insane for fighting multiple enemies at once, this thing has such a fast time to kill that you can easily take out four enemies with just one magazine. And now for the fifth and final attachment, we do want to throw in the new best muzzle in Warzone 3 right now, which is going to be the Quartermaster Suppressor, giving us a 10% decrease to a recoil gun kick, 23% to the horizontal recoil, and 10% to the vertical recoil, getting rid of almost all the visual recoil on pretty much any weapon that you put this thing onto. And the best part about it, we only get a 6% increase to our aim down sight speed, so the build will still stay very fast. Here's the full meta STG44 loaded out for Warzone 3 Season 5, the best long range weapon in the game right now. Now. now let's hop over to the static HV loadout. So jumping straight into the first attachment for the metastatic HV loadout, we do want to go ahead and start with the light barrel, which is going to give us a 4% increase to our movement speed as well as the sprint and tack sprint speed. And on top of that, we also get a 7% decrease to our aim down sight speed and 8% to the sprint to fire time, making this build a lot quicker all around. For the second attachment, since the iron sights on this build are a little bit wonky, we do want to go ahead and throw an optic onto it. And there is a couple of different options that you guys can choose from. I personally like to rock the Night Arm Model 2023, but I do also see a lot of people rocking the Jack Glass both of these options are very clean, super easy to use, and give very low visual recoil, so try them both out and use whatever one you like better. Next up, we do want to go ahead and throw on something that's going to increase our recoil control, so with that being said, we do want to throw on the FSS Guardian stock, which is going to do exactly that. It gives us a 10% decrease to every single recoil control stat, making this one of the easiest SMGs to use in the entire game right now. Getting right back into the build, now we do want to throw on a brand new underbarrel that they actually just added in the Season 5 update, which is going to be the Paracord Grip. This is going to give us a 15% decrease to our horizontal recoil. 4% increase to our movement speed and a 14% decrease to the sprint to fire time, which is an absolute perfect fit for this build because a lot of the recoil on this weapon is going to be horizontal. And now for the fifth and final attachment, once again, another brand new attachment that they just added in season five, and that is the Quartermaster Suppressor, the new best muzzle in Warzone 3 right now. It is going to give us a 10% decrease to our recoil gun kick, 23% to the horizontal recoil, and 10% to the vertical recoil, getting rid of a ton of the visual recoil on any weapon that you put this thing on. And it's only going to give us a 8% increase to our aim down sight speed, so no matter what gun you put this on, it's still going to stay very quick as well. Here's the full metastatic HV loadout for Warzone 3 Season 5, the best SMG in the game right now. And as you're going to see in the gameplay, when you pair these guns together into the same loadout, they're going to have you absolutely frying. I dropped 60 kills in two games with them. So without further ado, let's get into it. Remember me, boys? I'm dead to the bomb drone. Get him out of my lobby. He'll never stack on me again. This game is so bad, it's insane. Opa. Brother, why are you peeking that? You're last. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad. On Target down. Uh, Marking the rest of them. <laughs> Enemies are trying. 
I'm gonna... Better swim faster than that, bro. Better swim faster than that, bro. My boy is clueless. What in the what? Oh my god. We just can't get slammed like that, brother. Slammed. Enemies dropping into the AO. I don't know what that guy's doing, but I, look, I respect it. You thought, buddy. They're in the tunnel. No, but it's equal enough. Not GG's, not GG's. Enemy soldier incoming. What? What? My right, chill friend. Come on, disgrace. We gotta be better than that. <laughs> All right, bro. It's the riot shielder. It's my friend. Oh, he's clueless. I feel bad for him, bro.
You're not getting away, buddy. Get on back here. Bad aim, bad aim. Three, two, one. A little bit off. Oh, there's another one. I'm dead. Slam. Slam. Don't push me, bro. I'm gonna wipe your team. Going for the melee there is crazy. Slam. I didn't have to reload, bro. Now I'm scared. Let me reload my STG and see what happens. Enemy These guys just came with the, with the backup. Everyone is so one shot. Love that for me. Kill confirmed and we located the rest of them. Marked remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Been a chaotic game so far. The STG is just it. The whole lobby's just to Oh, I couldn't pull my shoot. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Oh my god. I let him live. I let him live till his teammates come back. Down, he might. <laughs> the STG is crazy though. No way they didn't come back yet. I just wasted all that time just to still wipe them. Don't push me, bro. I ain't trying to team wipe. Enemy soldier incoming. Why do you get spawn protection so high on Vondel? I don't like it. No way that hit me. UAV is being fueled. RTB is be advised. UAV is exiting the AO.
I sold so hard. I thought the kid was selfing behind me. Has closed. No more second chances. Oh. Oh. He doesn't hit those, right? Yeah, you don't hit those, buddy. You guys don't hit those. Tough one, gentlemen. Oh, that missed somehow. Oh my god. I thought I was going to knock there. I'm dead. Oh my god, bro.